it's morning and I just woke up. I guess what I want to say is, um, first of all, my hair is pretty spectacular today. Not much to say there other than wow. But what I wanted to say was, uh, uh, don't panic. For anyone who's going through a tough time right now, whether it's because of the coronavirus or just anything that life throws at you. Don't panic. Just don't panic. Try to find a solution. That's what leads me to um, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes never lets his emotions control him. He uses his brain. He uses his intellect. And he solves problems. That's something that I admire. Um, Sherlock Holmes is not real. He's a character. Uh, but he has values or he has methods that are real, that can be studied. Sherlock Holmes is one of the reasons why we have forensic science. That's a hard word to say. Characters can be real, the, the lessons we take from them. Fiction is the lie that tells the truth. I don't know who said that, but um, I know that's a real quote uh, that I'm borrowing from somebody, maybe Stephen King, I'm not sure. I think, it, I think it is though. Find something that can calm your mind and use it in your life. Put it there in your thoughts as a refuge that you can go to when you do start to panic because we all panic. That's human. Nobody's perfect. And I'm not even Sherlock Holmes was perfect. He had a lot of problems too. But, um, yeah, for me, that's what I do. When I panic, I, I think about this Sherlock Holmes project, and I think, uh, as silly as it sounds, I think, what would Sherlock Holmes do? How would he solve it? Um, I'll give you a quick example. So there's a story called the Musgrave Ritual. This butler disappears, and it's after he has been um, spotted um, reading this map and well, it's not really a map it's like a, a little riddle that's the Musgrave ritual right and the, this family the Musgraves have made this um, this little riddle and it seems like it's talking about buried treasure but it's very strange it's like walk this far from the oak tree and the shadow from the elm tree will lead you here and under this and um, but it's it's like very cryptic, right? Sherlock like Holmes gets on the case and then he's got the riddle and he turns to Musgrave, uh, the guy who hired him, and he said, uh, where's the elm tree? And Musgrave says, well, that was cut down like 40 years ago. And, um, you know, right there, if I was Sherlock Holmes trying to solve the case, I'd be like, oh, great. How are we going to solve this riddle? We need the shadow from that elm tree. There's no elm tree. But Sherlock Holmes doesn't panic. He just says, okay, well, where was it? And then that guy says, oh, yeah, the stump is still here. So he follows him to the stump. And then he says, and then Sherlock says, well, where? I wonder how we can figure out how tall that tree was. And, and then Musgrave says, oh, I know exactly. It's 64 feet, or it was 64 feet tall because... I used to measure everything around the yards when I was learning math here. And I'll never forget, I was 64 feet tall. And uh, Sherlock Holmes says, all right, great. Now again, in my head, I'm thinking, because I'm an idiot, you know, I'm, I'm like, well, how, you know, how is he gonna measure the, the shadow of a 64 foot tall tree? Uh, that's, how do you do that? You know, he's gonna have to build something 64 feet tall. And and uh, Sherlock just grabs a stick and uh, I think he made it like nine feet tall or something. And he sticks it in the ground and then they wait for the sun set. 
and then he gets the shadow from there and then he's like okay so if the shadow from the nine foot stick is 14 feet then by using an equation we can figure out you know what uh what the shadow from a 64 foot tall thing would be and so he does that and he figures it out so he he just put all of that information together. He had some luck by, you know, having the guy say, oh yeah, I remember it was 64 feet tall. Regardless, he never stopped. He never was like, oh, okay, well that's it. He always used his brain to figure out. And, um, and that's what I want to do when I'm in a situation, when I'm in tough situations. Uh, I want to use my brain, you know, because it doesn't get used very much. talk about uh, um, I want to talk about researching okay <laughs>